The Shoemaker's Apprentice After a terrible fire that almost turned Maribor to ashes, careful hands and clever builders restored and completed the city walls. These became mighty, wide, and most importantly, firm. Early morning to late evening. Sunday was only three days. But the worst thing of all was that he was the only one who was messenger burst in through the northern gate of the city walls. Catching his breath, he cried that the Turks were at his heels. He swallowed heavily, gasped out. <laughs> Sleeping crowd of Turks. Now, he only had to scurry down the gravel path to the pond. But lo and behold, the gate was shuttered tight, and it took a stronger man than a tiny shoemaker. And swans flapped their wings and flew away as the high water boomed and gurgled through the lifted gate. Even he was scared by the water, which gushed mightily and wildly down the channel. Out as a peacock, the shoemaker's boy marched up to the city walls. His overjoyed fellow citizens... Soldiers and guards.